after taking a few days off to survive the trauma of the past 369 days, there are some very interesting developments we need to discuss. We'll start with the easy stuff, but watch till the end because it just gets better. As increased cooperation between Russia and Belarus ramps up, some very brave Belarusian partisans took matters or drones into their own hands by conducting their own special military operation. But unlike the Russians, this operation was successful. In fact, they were able to blow up a rare Russian plane that experts are actually saying Russia cannot fix. Both Lukashenko and Putin pictured below awkwardly walking out of the same men's room have pooped their pants. And the rest of the world, well, the US is telling China don't even think about arming those terrorists or there will be hell to pay. And Europe, well, they've happily added a 10th package of sanctions on Russia and will continue to do so until Ukraine is liberated. And the UN's chief has once again confirmed that Russian Terrorist Federation has triggered the most massive human violations in recent history. Then kick them out. Why aren't they out of the UN? Please tell us, please tell the world why the Russian Terrorist Federation is still at your table. But that's neither here nor there, so let's keep going. Very soon in March, the Commission of Inquiry will present the Council and the world with a very comprehensive report of the war crimes that the RF is committing on a massive scale in Ukraine. And we know this won't be for the faint of heart. This will include using as a weapon of war, genocide on all the levels, including kidnapping Ukrainian children by the thousands. And if you're emotionally ready, you can see documentation of all of this in a new documentary that just came out. It includes interviews with all top Ukrainian officials, the events that followed in the first days of the invasion, the scary reality of de-occupied areas, and much, much more. It is called Erik Year, and it's on YouTube. So things are clearly not going well for the Russian Terrorist Federation, but here is where things heat up. Let me tell you a little story of how their propaganda machine has started the motions in preparing their population of zombies. And you're going to smile at this. They have now started to plant little seeds, and this was very apparent with Putin's latest interview with the propaganda channel number one. He said some things that were extremely telling, and let me break them down for you. So playing up the fear-mongering as he usually does, Putin in his latest interview says that the West is determined to destroy Russia, and if they do succeed, now listen to this. If they do succeed, Russians may not survive as a distinct ethnic group. But the next statement he said is even more interesting. He said that if that does happen, there will be Muscovites, there will be some sort of people from the Urals and so on and so forth. And in his theory, the West would only partially accept this new broken up Russia into a so-called family of civilized peoples. He then went on and said that he doesn't even think that Russia will survive in this form. So what is Putin actually saying? He's basically saying that the Russian nationality is weak and will not survive in civilized society if they're not all together anymore. And he underlined that the ethnic minorities in Russia once freed to be sovereign will not be seen as civilized. What an interesting take on your beloved citizens. Do you not accept them as civilized societies? Oh, that's right. You've been freeing them of their culture and language for decades and now using them as cannon fodder. But I assure you, they do not share your sentiment. He's also very openly and clearly stating that his Russian brothers and sisters are weak and will not survive on their own without him. Is it because that the Russian identity has been forced on people through colonization in the Soviet Union? And Russian is actually a fake nationality as you've colonized countries that have their own culture and language. Hmm. Something to ponder. And speaking of colonized nations, the US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is meeting with five post-Soviet sovereign nations today. The meetings are set to expand cooperations with these nations who all border the RF. Sounds like perfect timing and an excellent idea to me. Slava Ukraini, Heroem Slava, Razum do